guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we are charity shopping it's been a long while it feels like forever since i've done a charity shopping vlog thrifting vlog whatever you want to call it i know quite a few of my audience are here for the thrifting element to things and others don't watch the thrifting so i feel like this within my channel is definitely like kind of a niche video that some of you guys I know love, so I definitely wanted to get back out there, hit the charity shops, especially as I'm now in a new area since moving house to South Manchester. There were some new shops to try out. So I actually visited a place called Cheadle, and they had a good variety of shops there. I also went to Didsbury. I went to some shops in Didsbury. So I have quite an accumulation of different clips within different stores. I did just want to give a quick shout out to one store in particular which is the British Heart Foundation in Cheadle. I was thoroughly impressed with their store layout, their store experience. I feel like charity shopping as an experience is something that a lot of people are put off by by the in-store experience maybe the layout of things the musky kind of like i don't know you feel like things can be a bit dusty in there and not even necessarily very inviting it's really hard to see things you have to really rummage Cheadle British Heart Foundation have some amazing, real vintage, thrifty kind of finds in there and still at bargain price points. So I was really, really impressed. They are also uploading a load of stuff to their new Instagram page that they've set up. So yet again, they're moving forward with the times. So I wanted to give that a shout out. It's Cheadle BHF on Instagram if you wanted to check them out if you're local to South Manchester. And it was so lovely to meet the girls that also worked in the Cheetah British Heart Foundation. One of them actually watched my videos, which is amazing. So hello if you're watching and thank you so, so much for watching. So I'm gonna include the vlog footage first and then join you back here to show you all of the bits that I have purchased.
me section of vlog footage and uh, let's jump into the haul. So the first thing I'll show you is the item that I did pick up from the Cheadle British Tarte Foundation kind of vintage thrifting store which they had so many like Adidas stuff and like vintage sweatshirts and tees which actually I was keeping my eyes peeled for vintage sweatshirts like a men's one but I didn't see one in a big enough size or a colour that I liked but anyway I did find this shirt. I thrift more menswear than I do women's wear to be completely honest with you. This is from Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren and it was the bargain price of £15 because obviously this is a designer item, it is a high-end price point, really great quality, so £15 I was more than happy to pay for that. And it's like, um, kind of like a creamy off-white colour, which I love, I feel like it's a softer alternative to white. Actually this dress is also that kind of creamy colour, this is from Zara by the way, this dress. So I'm imagining wearing this loosely, kind of undone, like over a little pretty dress like this as more of like an extra added layer, or done up and half tucked into some um, light blue denim jeans. I just think it's a super effortless look to wear an oversized men's shirt. So I did pick it up in an extra large. It's 100% cotton. It does have the little polo Ralph Lauren jeans logo here on the left lapel, not left lapel, left pocket. Um, so yeah, I was really, really happy to find that. That's the only fashion item that I actually picked up. The rest are all homeware bits. Next up, we have Cancer Research UK. I picked up one item from in there at £5.95, and it is this um, Brie Baker. So I did have a quick, a sneaky look online whilst I was in store, just to see what this kind of would retail for, this sort of item. And from this brand in particular, Petit Maison by Wildly Delicious, Brie Baker, I saw it on Amazon for £70, which is very extortionate. So £5.95 is a bargain in comparison. However, I did spot it slightly cheaper elsewhere, but still nowhere near the £5.95 mark. So I decided to pick it up. It's dishwasher, oven, and microwave safe, and I love a baked brie, baked camembert, that kind of thing. And we do actually have a camembert dish but this one is slightly bigger so the camembert one literally fits a small one in but if we get a nice big brie hence brie baker brie baker gosh that's a tongue twister um then this is almost in the style of like a la cruze like a little kind of casserole style dish with a lid obviously it is lidded and it still has like the original uh, spoon that comes with it all sealed up as if it's not even been used 
So that to me is what sold it to me. I quite like if I find kitchenware that's unused. A quick little find that I got from Caps Protection at only 50p. I did actually used to have this toy for Barney. He destroyed it, he loved it. So I decided to pick up a fresh new one. It's from Webox originally, it's still got the original price tag in. They actually had quite a few of these in, so I don't know if they've got some kind of wholesaler price discounted bulk or even donation from Webox for all these toys but at only 50p these are usually a pound you are still getting a bit of a saving from buying these in stores anyway and it's kind of like in the style of a newspaper and it's really crinkly so yeah he loves the kind of noise that it makes so 50p I thought why not treat him to a brand new one that he can destroy yet again then I went into Bernardo's and I picked up this from Laura Ashley home it is they actually had a few rolls of this because it is superior quality wall covering it's like a wallpaper in dark linen it's called and I thought this would, would double quite nicely as wrapping paper gift wrap it's got a very slight I don't even know if you'll be able to tell on camera a very slight pearlescent finish to it a very subtle shimmer I thought this would look beautiful for Christmas wrapping with big white bows or even like a jute ribbon as well. So this was only £2 for a massive roll. Originally it does say it was £18 from Laura Ashley, so bargain. And then last but not least, went to Oxfam and I actually picked up three items, two books, which this first one I swear is in every single charity shop. Delia's How to Cook Cookbooks. There's the book one, book two, book three. And I literally must have seen these books in five different shops on this shopping day. So I feel like if you want to get the aesthetic of this book, this is the only one that I picked up, the book one, just because I love the neutral cover with just the white eggs on the front. Um, so if you want to pick your hands up on this for a bargain price point, head to a charity shop. I guarantee if you go charity shopping for a day, you'll come across Adelia's cookbook. So this one in Oxfam was 3 99 kind of pricey. I definitely see books a lot cheaper elsewhere, but this was actually the only one that I saw this one in. The other stores I saw book two and book three, which I was tempted to get the full set, but the binders and everything on the other two, they do have a slight color to it, whereas this one is in like, like a gray color. So nice and neutral. I'm getting a bit of a collection of aesthetically pleasing cookery books for my new kitchen, which we will be extending and building throughout the rest of this year. I can't wait for a new kitchen. So yeah, to get some nice cookery books, keeping my eyes peeled, getting a bit of a collection. Speaking of which, the other book that I got is also for the kitchen and it is called Bread. A Baker's Book of Techniques and Recipes by Jeffrey Hamelman, Director of Bakery and Baking Education Center, King Arthur Flower. So again, loved the aesthetic of this, kind of that rustic element. Again, this is 3 dollars and it is just a book all about bread. And if you're a bread lover like me, then hopefully um, this will come in handy. And then the last item that I picked up, again from Oxfam, is this $2.99. It's a little set of 10 notes and enveloped cards. Now, I love the little like design of this. It reminded me of something from anthropology or like the aesthetic of the ivy, that kind of jungle element, but illustration at the same time. I loved it. So for me, it screamed like designer. So again, I did a little cheeky Google search whilst I was in store. And this brand in particular, Alexa Pulitza New Orleans, let me know if you've heard of that. I personally hadn't, but I looked up online and they do the most beautiful like wedding invitations, gift cards, celebratory type things with all different designs, illustration designs in this kind of style. And I loved it. So as soon as I saw that, and as soon as I saw the price points that some of them sell for, made $2.99 look an absolute bargain. So the fact that it's a full set of 10 note cards, which just has the little monkey on the top, and then at the back there are all the envelopes, absolute steal i'm really really happy with that you guys know me i like to have a little stockpile of like gift cards and gift wrap just so that i've got like nice ones in and i'm not impulse purchasing one that i don't even particularly like just because i need to get one in that moment i like to have a variety of ones that i love that i can choose from for whatever occasion it may be so yes that is everything that i picked up on this little thrift trip little charity shopping 
outing. Do let me know if you want more of these. There are definitely more areas in South Manchester that I want to head to and check out. Any recommendations for other South Manchester guys and gals that have um, checked out some charity shops and would recommend any to me, then by all means message me on Instagram or pop them in the comments below and I will be sure to head to them next. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. Do subscribe for more and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys!